So with Starfield not too far away, less than a month away in fact, the news is coming thick and fast and looking around the internet and looking at the way Bethesda builds its games, it's clear to everyone that their stories are pretty well delivered. However, one thing that Bethesda does well is the stories of factions. In fact, you could go so far as saying that their factions are actually more interesting than the overarching plot. They put so much detail, so much emphasis into these factions. Well, it's actually a joy to play. And these are the type of games that you actually want to replay and choose different factions as you play if they don't actually allow you to play with, you know, join multiple factions to see how the game develops depending on which faction you go with. As of right now, we know of five factions that are available. We've got the Constellation, we've got the United Colonies, we've got Freestar Collective, Ryujin Industries, Crimson Fleet, and we have a few small ones littering around the actual you know, solar system that are available for you to check out. Now, in this video, what I want to do is basically go over the five major ones and then just briefly touch over the small ones, just go over what they do, what they represent and basically what their intentions are. It should give you a rough idea of maybe what faction you want to join or at least help you along your way. So if you do find this content useful and if it's helped you in any way, shape or form, or if you want to see more Starfield content like this on this channel, do let me know in the comment section below. And with that said, let's get on with the video. So the first faction we're going to look at is Constellation. This is the one that, you know, start, you know, the Starfield Direct has spent a lot of time actually showcasing. In fact, the June 23 mainly focused on the Constellation faction, with Sarah Morgan and fellow Barrett both mentioning a mysterious artifact that your character finds. We're committed to the biggest question of all, what's out there, Sarah says. So they're like this faction that you're gonna, it's the default faction. So who are they? As they're tied to the main quest, they're the first faction you'll join and they are called the Constellation, the last group of space explorers led by ex-soldier and recruitable companion Sarah Morgan. This is the default group and will place players in a position to window shop for other factions or just chill with the Constellation crew. You can actually play through the game with the Constellation crew and ignore the other factions if that is what you want for your first playthrough. However, Bethesda explains that by the time you meet them, Constellation is sort of seen as this mystical group, a group that basically people don't even know exist anymore. But I guess if you stick with them, you're pretty much going to expose them and bring them out to the you know spotlight and reveal all their maybe secrets who knows if you are going to go with this faction just know that not a lot of people know about this faction you'll be entering a really top secret organization that works in the background and of course at some point i'm assuming you're going to reveal everything for them but they are the main quest givers but that is the constellation so next up we have the united colonies who are they they are the dominant space, I guess you could call the space police, the space military, the space government, the ones that basically, uh, brought, you know, police everything. This group is an idealized futuristic space republic, which Bethesda has called the most powerful established military and political faction in the game. So if you are looking for that sort of gameplay, this is where you want to be. During the Colony War 20 years before Starfield takes place, they fought against the Freestar Collective. So there is a bit of history there where they have overcome adversaries. The United Colonies finds its home now in the New Atlantis, the biggest of Starfield cities, which Bethesda says is also the biggest in its development histories. So you'll have a lot of area to explore if you're going down that route. It possesses giant mech-like ships hovering on air bases, a lot of troops strapped up with blasters and tactical belts, pretty much what you would expect from this sort of, you know, faction. The United Colonies also runs the mining city Sidonia on Mars, its largest mining facility. During the time Starfield takes place, a bit more lore, it seems the colonies are particularly concerned with the Crimson Fleet pirate threat. The gameplay revealed included a bit of dialogue from a quest in which the United Colonies want to recruit the player to take down these cutthroat pirates together. So they're clearly at war with these pirates and obviously if you're gonna you know, if they are pirates, they're the bad guys. And if you're going with the United Colonies, well, it kind of makes sense, right? Next up, we have the Freestar Collective. So who are they? They are the obligatory space cowboy faction. And these are probably 
gonna be i mean i'm torn between this one the free star collective and reugen but let's let's just continue with this one uh starfield space western vibes are all settled in freestyle collective for people that are out there on the frontier in the colony war they fought against the united colonies pushing for individualism so at least now we have some context as to what that war was about now they focus on preserving their own well-being calling themselves peacekeepers who protect their own people they hail from a killer city where they are surrounded by local alien predators the ashtar now during the character creation we do know that you can choose the traits freestar collective settler which gives access to freestar specific dialogue and better faction rewards during quests but also increases your bounty for crimes against other factions so it's kind of like a give and take but it's still nice that they are doing this and i assume that this sort of give and take will be available to all the others as well next up we have reugen industries these are your obligatory cybercorp faction no game is complete like this without a cybercorp and Ryujin is the one that fits that bill. Ryujin Industries is the space take on a mega corporation and according to the devs, has one of the best starts of any of Starfield's factions. Almost selling me on Ryujin at this point. We know that the fishing outpost turned Metropolis on Neon is their hometown. We've seen a mashup of Neon's criminal underground and wild nightclubs, but very little about the corporation at the top of the food chain. Compared with the bright colored aesthetic of Neon streets, our glimpse of Ryujin Industries look luxurious, but austere with black and red outfits and spacious offices. Of course, black and red is my favorite color combination, but this is pretty much telling me the way to, you know, what to do. Ryujin Industries are a huge megacorp that represents corporate life and initially early quests for them will effectively act as a weird job interview to earn yourself the right to get inside so though the start may seem a little weird in the way that you're actually going to you know induct yourself and with the quests to actually get into the faction just know that as far as Bethesda are concerned this is probably the best faction or the most interesting one out of all of them and well I assume most people are going to play all of them, but I think Ryujin might be the one where I go. Now, the final faction before we look at the minor ones is the Crimson Fleet. So these are basically your lawless bandits and raiders. And I know a bunch of you are going to love going with these guys because they don't care about anything. They break all the laws. These guys literally are Starfield's space pirate faction. We know of at least two ways you can join them. You can either sign up as an actual pirate, which I know some of you will absolutely love, or you can actually go undercover as a spy. Now this actually appeals to me a hell of a lot more. This is like a whole new dynamic, right? One detail that's been spotted in Bethesda's promotional videos with Starfield is a Crimson Fleet's use of a Jolly Roger, the very classic skull and crossbones as their fleet symbol. A brief glimpse from Starfield Direct shows their headquarters, a space station called the Key in the Crix system. In a preview video released in March, design director Emil Pagliarulo said, they're not just this foe, let the player join them. What does that mean? From this conversation, it seems like the Crimson Fleet is full of bad dudes who specifically take issue with the United Colonies dominance in the galaxy. Well, clearly United Colonies are the ones that are policing the you know, galaxy. You're always going to get those that don't want to be policed. And that's where the Crimson Fleet come in. But you'll have the option to fully join them or work undercover as a space narc instead. And as far as Todd Howard's concerned, he refers to this faction as the bad guys. But, you know, every game has to have a bad guy faction. Crimson Fleet is the one. But will you be joining Crimson Fleet? And if you are, are you going to fully integrate yourself and be a bandit? Or are you going to actually go out of your way and be a space narc? Let me know in the comment section below. Finally, we have the other Starfield faction groups. The five factions already spoken about are the ones that we've heard about most and the ones that we have the most details on. So the first group we're going to look at is Argus Extractors. We're looking at this because it's a group the player starts in. This is pretty much the default one where you gain control of your character, possibly a mining company. There's not much known about this. This is the group you're a part of during character creation, represented by AE in the menus. Ecliptic Mercenaries is the next one. These are essentially just a mercenary organization, and I assume these are going to be the general bad guys you see around the galaxy. Enlightened. This is a religious organization opposed to Sanctum Universum. 
So at least you've got some rivalry there with the Enlightened and the Sanctum. House Varun. Dangerous, fanatical, religious zealots is how these are described. This appears to be the religion that the Great Serpent trait ties to. The Great Serpent trait appears to have some focus on gravity jumping with a health and endurance boost from jumping, so that is pretty damn cool. The Red Mile is a group of runners hailing from Parima 3 in the Parima system. Sanctum Universum, a religious organization as you guessed it, which is opposed to the Enlightened, just like the Enlightened is opposed to Sanctum Universum. And finally, we have the Spacers, which are spacefaring raiders. Again, just like the Ecliptic Mercenaries, I assume these will also be just a riffraff that we see around the galaxy in areas that are scavenging for stuff that you'll be able to take out without, you know, much allegiance or faction disturbance. But that's it. That's all we have right now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have. If we can get maybe about 50 likes on this video, that's the challenge. If we can do that, that'd be absolutely amazing. It can show me that you guys are enjoying this content and you want more stuff and content on this channel. Let me know also in the comment section below if you do want more Starfield coverage on this channel. Now, I know this channel is a news coverage channel, but I have put on the right where we do like game reviews. I haven't actually managed to jump into that just yet, but I do want to do like coverages of other games as well. And with Starfield coming, this seems to be the perfect opportunity because it's just a massive, massive game. So let me know if this is the sort of content you'd also like to see on this channel and we can get more of this content out there. If you have enjoyed this content, do consider leaving a like, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell to stay up to date of all content I release, and I will see you in the next one. As always, remain legend.